Hey guys, Tyrep here bringing you a 2v2 today. We are on Fields of Wind, Nick and Dog. Playing for today, spawning in the north, we have Co4. Playing as Brits, who has Commandos, Tactical Support, and Vanguard. Teaming up with him is Mirage Fly as US Forces, who has Armor, Infantry, and Urban Assault. Facing off against them in the south, we have Mimi Cute. As OKW, who has Elite Armored, Overwatch. And Grand Offensive. And finally we have I Basti playing as Osir who has Jaeger Infantry. Jaeger. Oh, Lightning War. And Jaeger Armor. In terms of rankings here, this is a random team, both sites. Mirage Fire round rank 40. Code 4 round rank 45, I think. I Basti around rank 50. Mimi Cute around rank 110. on the Tommies, bit of a chase down by the Stern Pies, but a bit too healthy to really get that wipe. A little push here from the Pios, but we've got a Rifleman coming up behind this. MG42 is not coming to support. Stern Pies trying to stall things out there, but I think the Crawler might have seen them. So Co4 not really walking into the ambush there. Comes the Grenadier now, still just camped out, covering the VP for the moment. So a bit of a slow start here for the Axis. Not going to be connected to the fuel for quite some time. Quite long standard territory points as well. well the Allies uh, haven't even pushed onto this fuel point yet. Got a cutoff play coming in from Co4. Interrupting the sandbags. Looks like he's pulling back. Mimi Q going for a tech truck at this stage. Makes me think maybe we're going to see some Jaeger lights. What? Was that a misclick? Hmm. Don't know why the machine gun retreated just then. Wasn't getting flanks. Wasn't in any trouble. A couple of fog screens coming in. To hold on to the cutoff from multiple angles here. Tommies have their work cut out for them. Meanwhile, the low health stempos capping up on the other areas of the map. Good bit of work here from the Fox Grenadiers, holding the line strongly. Battle group going to be the choice for Mimi Cute. Basti going to work here, but that was such a strange machine gun retreat in the center. It must have been a misclick, but it definitely is going to hurt the Axis territory control on that left hand side. Press back out now, but his squad's behind heavy cover. Don't get overwhelmed though. Grenadiers are dropping quite a few models. But do end up capturing the uh, center because of that. I just popped the flamer going chasing after Mirage Fly's troops. He was going for the captain. Feels like he might have been a tiny bit late starting the captain tech though. Yes, indeed. Jaeger lights from Mimi Cute does mean Overwatch. Jaeger lights always a strong option, really. <laughs> well, at least you have absolutely zero Faust, as we saw one game. Probably backfires. I'll play it. But yeah, the extra line of sight just makes them a real asset and. Typically a very strong performer up against the Brits. Orders, lads. Speaking of the Brits, F Bolster coming in for Co4. 
has quite a lot of manpower floating here. Maybe think he wants to go for some commanders or something? I'm not entirely sure, but should definitely have one more squad on the field, even if he does want to go for commandos. And personally, I feel like it's maybe a tiny bit strange. Going for like super early bolster and then trying to go for super early commandos as well. Might as well take full advantage of your investment into bolster by getting another squad now. And that extra combat strength right away. Strimpire's coming in for the flank here. And look at that. He <laughs> locks into commandos. How does he know? It's like he's uh, reading this game like a book. Oh wow, grenades as well. Onto the infantry sections. Retreat now. Stone pies do get quite low there. Well, they do end up getting away Get just ready. fine. Yeah, Lights got the G43 upgraded now. Got the uh, machine gun coming in next. Ah, coming up close to the light vehicle timing potentially for the allies. It looks like Mirage Flight is going to pop out an AA half track, maybe a tiny bit late on that. Dodge on the grenade, but ends up getting suppressed in the dodging process. Let's go retreat there. And yeah, now some pretty poor territory control from the Allies. Go forward, just no, not quite enough squads to hold on to ground. Ends up going for a Royal Engineer, dropping the glider, and he's still got close to 400 manpower spare. So yeah, 100% should have built this Engineer much earlier than this. Hopefully it doesn't end up costing them too much territory. Rex out from Mirage Fire, going for bars on the re echelon first. Don't see that too often. And a half track forcing some retreats here. Do you have a pack for Ibasti? Looks like he's not going to go for the 2 2 2. Or oh, the Shreks, doesn't quite have munis for that upgrade. Big damage on the road there. Green Deer could go down. Planting a Telemine. I was wondering where his munitions was gone. Thought he should have another upgrade. Oh, okay. Possible. Still guys in close here. Could be a good uh, time for a concussive grenade. That's exactly what we're going to see here. Ooh, but well timed dodge. I thought that was for sure going to hit at least one of the squads there. What was that retreat path? What? <laughs> Ran back into danger. Here come the commandos. Got another glider out the back there now for Co4. Interesting. Two commandos. But uh, probably going to work out quite nicely since neither of the Axis players did go for a light vehicle. So don't really have a good way to punish this. With just their infantry and... Egg Light Swat, typically pretty good against Brits, typically not very good against Commandos, since they're you know, usually moving around in camouflage, so Egg Lights can't take advantage of their long line of sight. Egg Lights also not terribly strong in close quarters. But yeah, I think this is a pretty good position for the glider to be deployed. You can make use of the uh, forge reinforcing from it. It's some nice value. Because the other one's probably going to end up dying pretty quickly. Oh, Pack How he died. I mean, uh, Pack How he died. A hey, half track died. Sorry, I didn't mention that to that tell of mine. Looks like he might have taken one hit from the pack as well. So, it yeah, slows down Mirage for a long way. He's not going to rebuild that. A bit too late for that kind of play. The HQ has been upgraded. 
But yeah, pack alley always a solid option, especially if you're up against a couple of machine guns. Against MG42, MG34, about to be a second MG42 as well, so. Pack alley should be a good performer. In fact, Mirage Fire gonna go for a second one of those. There's a tough retreat path though past these. The greens in the building. It looks like they uh, just by chance had to reload though, so they didn't end up taking too much damage because of that. Lucky break from Mirage Flower. There's always a bit of a risk going for double pack outs in team game scenarios. It's a rocket artillery hits, they tend to go down very, very quickly. But, uh, you know, in this case, Mimi Cute having gone for Battle Group. To fast tech. Oh, so he lost a fault tree there. Secure. But yeah, haven't gone for uh, not a super super fast walking Stuka. Should be all right for Mirage Fly. Should be able to get some good value out of them before they die. Bit of an assault flank here. Getting into the retreat path of these troops. Looking for the wipe. Not quite successful though. Dorangi's going to work here. Tommy's not trying to use cover at all here. And uh, late retreat on this one. Could potentially go down. The enemy is taking our territory. Ooh, very, very close call. Trying to see out the machine gun here, but he's going to be within grenade range. No grenade, just going for the old-fashioned flank. Bit of a lucky break there for Code 4. Squeezing around the side just before the suppression came in there. A bit reckless from my best, he's sitting up in that position. Enough grenade, a lot of health damage, but no models drop from that squad at all. They're pretty well spaced and going to go for the retreat anyway, however. Mirage out the back doing some capping. Got quite a few more bars running around. Spinningall's munitions still hasn't locked into his commander yet. Neither is I Basti. T gun coming in now from Mirage Fly. Another squad of commandos, I think. This is probably one squad too many at the moment. Should be investing into an H tank gun. Another squad of Royal Engineers since he either didn't produce them or lost them. He lost them. So he needs. <laughs> He needs those things a lot more than he needs another squad of commandos. Looks like he did lose one of his squads of commandos, though. Speaking of, so it looks like maybe that happened while we were... ...watch the engagement over on the left. The enemy have destroyed a forward position. So, uh, yeah, go for. Needs to sharpen up. Probably needs to go for, like, one more... ...section with the uh, healing upgrade as well. Just to... Uh, Having one squad is typically not enough. Probably go for them on all of his troops, honestly, but sometimes it's nice to have one with the pyrotechnics flares. So have that option. Especially if you're going for Anvil. Commander's here, waiting. Oh, but the uh, Kuwag, and a very interesting choice here from Mimi Cute. Reveals the commandos and they drop really quickly now with the overs on the field. So Kubuagan does have enhanced detection radius of camouflage troops. Bit more to cover coming down now. Pretty easy dodge away. So I guess yeah, interesting attempt to counter the commandos. Did we end up working really nicely just then? Can be pretty good if you get Vet One. And you have the detection ability, that's very good option, but might even get it here. He's vetting up really, really quickly with the shared veterancy. Here we go, vet one. So yeah, the detection will be a nice option. Nice to be covered there for the Obers. Got some work done. Meanwhile, we've got a deep push in from my Basti, but this is going after the pack out. It's just for able to hold strong. Commando's just charging in. Wagon with the detection, quite slow, but if 
black base is there to defend. And now Panzer really is into a retreat path. Commanders could go down, got the assault activators. MG could be in some trouble here, kind of spreading the suppression around, but squads are coming in and out of suppression. And there he goes, gets that decrewed in the end. Concussive grenade out again. Grenades exchanged up here as well. Oh, big damage onto the commandos. P Green's vet two after that. So they missed a tiny bit of damage time as the commanders retreated around the uh, tree line there. Do end up getting away. Close call for Co 4, and he's got a lot of reinforcements required now. Has uh, completed company command, but no medium tanks yet. Makes me think he's going to be one of those uh, straight into Hammer Comet kind of players. Still with no anti-tank gun at all. That is a very risky proposition. Ordinarily. <laughs> well, uh, not if somebody goes for a Jagdpanzer straight away. Looks like Mimi Cute trying to go for a lot of infantry. Supported by a tank destroyer. Just kind of going to play into Kofor's hands. Enemy threatening a capture point. Since he has no anti-tank at all, he'll be very vulnerable to something like a Panzer IV just blasting through his entire army. Especially now that he's spin through his manpower bank, having to do all those reinforcements. Got a Panzer IV out though for Ibasti. Comes straight into Mirage Flies M1 and... Penetration off there. Back out, he's getting the squads very low but no model drops. Not stacking up too many kills, honestly. Before coming back in now with the AT gun on the run from the Oversoul Garden. Commandos waiting with an ambush on that far side. Detection active from the Kubel. And there we go. Full retreat. Nice machine gun positioning for Mimi Cute. Forcing all those troops away. German out for Mirage Fla. He's forced away the AT gun though, so maybe gonna go head to head. The two medium tanks. Rebuild on the Jaeger lights for Mimi Cute. Interesting. Sight is always a strong option though for them. Nice machine gun position. Shutting down that squad. We're actually going to pop out for some repairs. Right on the front lines here, Pacquiao are also pushing in. Looking to blast away the machine guns. Pretty far away though. Oh, this could be dangerous. Okay, good reaction times from Mirage Fly jumping back in. Pacquiao on the move. AT gun coming back out onto the front line. Not even too much luck with the scatter. Missing shot after shot on the pack hours are there. Oh, Obers and Commandos going toe to toe there. A lot of bleed for Co. 4 it looks like. Mine triggered by that grenade. Oh, Obers in some trouble. So they will get away alive though. Heated fighting in the center. Mirage Fire losing his AT gun. Pushes away the machine gun. Got some major RD dropped over here. Grindy is charging past it. Or maybe even fake smoke. Oh, there's major RD. Double LMG Grindy is laser beaming down the captain. Let's get away the pack howitzers though. Stop the Grandies from uh, maintaining that forward position. Perhaps a missed opportunity for Ibasti. Maybe could have held on there a little bit longer. Killed the Decredim one. Keeps playing it safe. Especially with this Panzer of Force so badly damaged. Same story from Mirage Fly. This time he backs all the way to base. To repair up the Sherman. And uh, you know, as we come into the mid game. Allies are quite far behind on VPs. 
so that's something uh, <laughs> they need to keep an eye on. I wish I could maybe be putting some tank traps down to provide some cover in the centre there. It's a lot easier to hold on to the centre with that heavy cover around. But yeah, the Jagdpans are not doing anything for Mimi Cute for a very long time here, and it is indeed a straight Comet Tech for Code 4. Uh oh. Briefly stopped retreating. Commandos. Don't quite finish the job. It was a little bit of a close call. Double overs being used. Teamed up with the machine gun here. Assault activated again. Trying to overwhelm the OKW troops. Going after the machine gun first. But the models have the front soaking the damage. Oh, does get some suppression in. But not quite enough. Got the D crew anyway. Yeah. Focus fire with the assault ability. Quite strong there. Even with the, you know, new formations. Two miles out the front. The machine gun still drops so quickly. Panzer and Comet trading. Yeah, Panzer coming out the victor there. And yeah, any time my bastie sits still, those pack alleys start blasting away. Even if they're not dropping a crazy number of models. Still consistent. Uh oh, late retreat here. No retreat in fact. Mirage Fire loses the captain. Sherman on high explosive here. Oh, M1. Oh, he's got two of them now. Not quite in range. Not Vet 1 yet, so can't boost his range with the take aim either. Shrek's trying to come in for a bit of a flank. Unsuccessful. One bar on the ground. I wonder if Mirage Fire's got a couple of weapon slots free for it. Oh boy, he's charging in here. The pack's right there as well. Creative driving and manages to squeak past. He wasn't even on uh, like armor piercing if he wanted to kill the Panzer IV. That was a risky move for Mirage Fly. Does have to get Major nearby. Can fire off the Major recon before making a move like that. Charging in against dainty tank guns. Often forgotten about Major recon for just those kind of scouting runs. Seeing how the team weapons are set up can be very, very helpful. Especially if you've just got like a, you know, like a regular Sherman, doesn't have the bonus health. Quite common to see double anti-tank guns. And yeah, running head on into double anti-tank guns can very often result in the loss of your medium tank. So major recon, a real asset. Major artillery coming down now, not hitting too much at the moment. Commando's trying to hide down in the corner, but with the coup wagon, with the detection, you can't surprise Mimi Cute. Coup wagon being a real asset here, shoe mine down as well. These commandos are late on the retreat, they could be in for a nasty surprise here. Good stun on one of the commandos. Ooh, he's just skates by the mine. So close. Good dodge on the grenade. Oh my god. They just got either side of the mine. That is incredible luck for Code 4. I thought for certain one of those commandos was going to die there. Very, very, very lucky. Kuwagen does survive as well. Bit of a flank here. Bastie coming out, not fully repaired. We've got a Werfrau fire Bastie now. Oh, he lost his AT gun. Out here, decrewed to this flank. Rifleman could come in with the snare here. A bit late to react. Mirage flat. No snare. Mixing down the Pegrins. Oh, there's a nasty hit from the Sherman. We're not going to chase any further. Panzer for standing guard. And uh, trying to come around the corner. Not having much luck though. Okay, we're pretty close to V1. Here comes the Werfer strike. Double uh, tank. Oh, double uh, pack owies. But they hold up to that pretty well. Quite a lot of health damage from the Werfer. Comet. More speeding in. 
Worth it. Turret facing the wrong direction here, though. Spins around and connects. Big Panzer with the chase down. A T gun under some pressure from the infantry sections. Gets D crew quite quickly in the Comet. All these side blockers able to get away quite safely there. Heartbreaking for Ibasti. Just didn't have any snaring squads, either of the players, to shut down that charge by the Comet. Coming back in, Jagdpanzer needs to be facing up in this direction. So a lot of tank pressure over here. Got the mortar cover coming down, I believe, or maybe that's major artillery. Bestie trying to get away now. The infantry, a T gun squaring off. Hoping to kill the comet, but doesn't quite get the job done there. Now at risk of getting decrewed with the pack. All the way. Chasing all the way to base here. Does end up to getting decrewed right at the doorstep. Go for the recrew right away. Panzer 4 can survive one shot, so it's not too risky for him to use it here. Back lining up. And I uh, do have some forward reinforcements from these four tech structures, so... Able to fight against Mirage Fly on the front line. But the pack is quite low this time though, so it might be worth getting some ambulance time. Because otherwise, next time... If Ibasti does decide to rebuild the Werfer, they'll probably go down for sure to the next Werfer barrage. Another Sherman coming in for our Mirage Flash, so he's stacking on the medium pressure here. Ibasti having locked into Stuka Close Air Support. Mirage Fire is going to be close to his pop cap limit once this Sherman arrives, once he jumps back into this one. Could probably squeeze in one more vehicle. The question is, you know, what's he going to go for? It's going to be the uh, Priest, Calliope, Jackson. Oof. Oh boy, nice rifle made there. It gets the white. Mirage Fly can't hold on there. That's one thing that Mirage Fly is missing at the moment. Machine gun, anyway, to suppress these incoming squads. And it's getting a little bit low on infantry now. They lost that rifle squad and the captain. Sherman so doing some uh, good anti-infantry damage there. Come on, pressing in. Gonna go for the Kuwag and kill with Vet 5 now, very, very fast. Oh, going for a bit of a crush action with the war speed, but nice retreat timing from Mimi Cute. Now under some pressure here. One Jagdpanzer against two Comets. And, uh, no snaring squads nearby, both those hit on the retreat. Got double comets charging forwards. Gonna knock this out here. The uh, anti tank planes have been activated, but the comets have actually charged right out of the targeting zone for them. Now going for a base inspection potentially. A lot of squads back here. Here comes the Panzer IV, but uh, even he will struggle in the 2v1. Pack trying to get in position here. Oh, big connection. Comet goes down. And the Comet trying to exit now. This Panzer IV games really good hits it. A bit of a lucky break for him so far. But in the head to head, Comet will typically win even with the skirts. Oh, the Comet missing quite a lot of shots here. Sits down finally. Gets rid of that moving accuracy penalty. Oh, and there we go. Snipes him off close to max range. Must have been. Faust Shrek connecting now. Engine damage. Looked like the uh, Faust bounced though. Didn't do full damage. There's one more Shrek to connect now because of that. 
Oh boy, Sherman getting really aggressive going after the packs. In fact, there's two of them now. Did lock in to Urban Assault. He's got the, uh, oh, Tiger out <laughs> and loses the Sherman. Speaking of losses though, Comet also going down. Some big tank losses stacking up on both sides. Before though has uh, not very much left after that. No anti-tank at all, so this Tiger wants to do some big damage. Rajvat does have double anti-tank guns, but they're a little bit low on health. The grenades coming out from his sections. Going strongly, but we've got the King Tiger out now for Mimi Cutes. And yeah, Co forward, absolutely no anti tank. Just asking to lose the game right here. And on the other side, pressuring the support weapons. Holding up for the moment, though. Just hanging on by a thread, two models on each low health, but the tiger does end up getting forced away. But this is the kind of scenario where it can be a little bit tricky playing as use forces. You're up against the heavy tanks. If you don't have anything providing you with an extra line of sight, you know, you kind of have to use your infantry to provide sight, then you're bleeding a lot of manpower just keeping sight on the opposing tank. And the heavy tanks blast you quite badly. The enemy is overrunning one of our capture points. Retreat point here for Mirage Flood. Not super forwards, but quite handy for these T weapons. We don't have to run all the way back to base. You have to consider like the uh, trade off between increased reinforce time and how much retreat time you're actually saving. It's probably not a big saving here for Mirage Flood with this position, but. With the uh, support weapons, it's definitely going to be an asset. They don't have to run quite so far back, so... Probably makes sense overall. Now it's down to 200 VPs. Rajfly still with a strong composition, going for the Jackson to support against the heavy tanks. Whereas Co 4... Oh, what is he doing? This is actually just really grinding my gears here. Goes for another squad of commandos when he has absolutely no anti tank at all. That is just horrible. Very irritating to see. But you can. <laughs> I suppose from that kind of play, maybe guess that you know, the uh, British ladder is not quite as competitive as some of the other factions. Squad down there. Jackson doing his best here against the big boys, but we're gonna Raketa now. Zoning it away for the moment. KT just blasting away at these commandos as they crawl forwards. Ouch. One of them down. Double Obers coming in with the follow up. Trying to do his best here, trying to hold on. Now he's going to work on the raquette and softening it up, opening up the Jackson, but double packs pushing it all the way in here. Got a green deer coming in on the retreat point. And Mirage Fly just getting completely overwhelmed, calling in the anti-tank planes now. It's just too much, him having to fight this two-on-one. And there we go, Sherman out the back goes down as well. Before. Trying to save for another Comet, I think, but in the meantime, the Allies completely lose their grasp on the game. And it's uh, basically GG there. That's right, going chasing, but with no support. The Obers, the, the Tigers just take down his anti tank guns. And that's it. Oh, yeah, let's throw in the towel. So, yeah, that was some uh, really bad army composition for Co4. No anti-tank all game. Very lucky for him that Mimi Cute 
went for the Yag Panzer first instead of a Panzer IV because otherwise he would have been bleeding for a good five minutes there before the Comet arrived with no anti-tank at all and then failing to get any anti-tank guns after he lost both his Comets as well. Just got completely overwhelmed by the King Tiger. Feel sorry for Mirage Fla. Played a pretty strong game overall but just can't hold on in that 2v1 scenario with no support from his ally. GG. Anyway, guys, wrapping that. If you like your game to cast by me, details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all for the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.